Cambridge, I just became completely fascinated by the obesity epidemic. And I just fascinated by it because nobody wants to be overweight, let alone obese. I was very much of, um, you know, the, the generation that people can remember that there was one overweight person in your class. And you can remember who that person was because it was so rare. Half the class was overweight. Um, and it's sort of, you know, how did that happen? And if it really were as simple as just eat less, do more, then we'd all do it. And then you look into things like um, animal deaths in plant agriculture, and you look at those sort of combine harvesters that sweep across a field. I mean, you know, some of those are 50 metres wide. And I'm sorry, but they're hoovering up rabbits, um, voles, mice, birds, worms, snails, domestic cats, if you're unlucky, and they live near a field that's about to be ploughed and they don't get out of the way quickly enough. And there are billions, billions of animals killed in the name of grains and soy and vegetarian food. But you don't want to admit that when you're vegetarian because you've just got this idea in your head that I'm not eating animals um, and therefore what I'm doing is okay. Realise that we are part of this circle of life and that happens and, and that's how it is. We don't get taught nutrition. At school, why would I realise that? You've got the plant form of vitamin A, which is carotene, and you've got the animal form of vitamin A, which is retinol. And every time that nutrients come in two forms, so it happens with vitamin D as well, so you've got D2 that comes from plants, D3 that comes from animals, you've got K1 and K2, it's a little bit more complex because you can get some K2 from fermented foods. But essentially, whenever there's two forms, the body wants the animal form. But then you get into the essential nutrients. So as we know, you and I, there is no essential carbohydrate. There are essential proteins, and those are proteins, amino acids that we must consume. The word essential in nutrition means we must consume it. The body can't make it. So the essential amino acids are found in complete protein, and complete protein is the animal version. So plant foods don't provide complete protein. We need animal foods, and we need them in quite decent proportions as well. And it's basically about the biggest lie at the heart of the whole calorie theory, which is this three and a half thousand calorie thing, which you will still see now in men's health, in women's magazines, in books, in government literature, government studies are based on it. This idea that if you cut back by three and a half thousand calories, you will lose one pound of fat. It is just one of the biggest myths that we have ever been taught. You're gonna lose so much weight, you're not. If you're trying to burn body fat, don't go add in dietary fat because your body will, first of all, it wants to burn carbs. If you cut those out, great. It's then gonna start looking for fat to burn, but you want it to be burning your body fat, not dietary fat. High glucose is gonna damage you over the long term. That's the thing that's gonna give you diabetic retinopathy and lose your eyesight and lose your limbs and all the rest of it. So that's one worry. Your body does have a mechanism to save you from this sort of dreaded hypo that so many type ones particularly fear. You get hungry because your blood glucose level is absolutely going all over the place. You, you know, you have an apple, you've had about five times the amount of glucose that your body wants in the bloodstream at any one time. You know, the bag of chips is probably gonna be 300 grams of carbohydrate. And how any body can, ever, you know, any human body, not any person, how, how the body can ever cope with that kind of onslaught of carbohydrate, I just don't know. You don't get taught nutrition. At school, why would I realise that? You know, I, I went to school, I was studying um, Shakespeare and maths and end up at Cambridge. You know, when was somebody going to sit me down and teach me about vitamins and minerals? It's a crime that we don't learn about that at school.